Hi there, welcome to the Golf Buyer Online Quick Fix section. I'm Wesley Vaughan. Um, today we're just going to be considering very briefly um, the correct amount of wrist hinge in the back swing. Now it's very important that um, we get a wrist hinge in the back swing because what that will enable you to do is unhinge the wrists through the ball, through the shot, which will produce club head speed, giving you more power and ultimately a better golf shot. So first of all, let's establish um, the correct amount of wrist hinge and what position that will put the golf club in in the backswing. So what we're looking to get is a good right angle position between the golf shaft and your left arm. If you're able to achieve this in the halfway stage of your backswing, you know that you have hinged the wrists correctly. Most golfers tend to get in this position, a 45 degree angle. This tells you that you've under hinged the wrists too much. If you go beyond, you've over hinged. So what we're looking at is this right angle position. Now most people, as I just said briefly, um, tend to under hinge their wrists. Now, the reason they do this is because they present the left hand onto the club incorrectly. Now, what they tend to do is they put the left thumb on the top of the grip. So, when they place the, the left hand on, the thumb tends to be on the top of the grip, showing only one knuckle. Now, the problem that we have here is that the wrists then are unable to move or hinge correctly. So, let me just demonstrate. So by keeping my left arm straight, now the thumb is on the top of the grip, I'm going to try and hinge the golf club upwards into a 90 degree position. Now that's as far as I can go, so that's only about 45 degrees. That's because the hand position hasn't allowed my wrists to hinge correctly. So the simple amendment we need to make is this. You take the left hand and you move it a little bit more to the right. So now your thumb is sitting just to the right of center of the grip. You should see around about two, two and a half knuckles on your left hand now. Now as I demonstrate again, by keeping the left arm straight, the thumb is sitting to the right of the grip, two, two and a half knuckles showing. I'm now able to hinge the golf club into an upright position, a 90 degree angle. quite comfortably, as you can see. When I'm able to hinge the golf club into that upright position, producing that right angle, my wrists are, a, are able to unhinge through the ball, again, giving me that club head speed, giving me that better strike, giving me better distance. So I'll just demonstrate now with this shot. So the thumb is sitting to the right of centre, two, two and a half knuckles showing, this will allow now the wrists to hinge the golf club into an upward position. Now the wrists unhinge, giving me that club head speed, giving me that power.